I want to make a video specifically for mandolin tablature. Pretty simple. First thing you want to do is get the names of your strings memorized. So let's just start with that right off the bat. So on the bottom one is the E string. Then we have A. Then D. Then G. Let's go back to that E string to keep it really simple, okay? So basically, it's very simple. If you know the names of the strings and how to count these frets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you got it, okay? And we don't, we can keep going, but we're not going to. For a beginner, you're mostly gonna be staying down here playing simpler melodies, okay? So on that E, I got E open. A E1 would be behind the first fret. E2 behind the second fret. E, e string third fret. E string fourth fret. E string 5th fret, E5, E string 6th fret, and E string 7th fret. So we got E open, E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, E7. Now I covered this in the other video, but just to remind you, if you're doing that practice, make sure every finger has two frets. Obviously open, you're not using a finger. When I go to 1 and 2, I'm using pointer. Three, four, using middle. Five, six, using ring. Then that pinky for seven. Works that way out of all the strings. I could go with the A string, same thing. A open, A one, A two, A three, A four, A five, A six, A seven. And then the D string and the G is the same. But let's go back and talk about the main notes. Um, primarily when you're a beginner, learning for the first time. We try to keep it simple. So there's only a few notes we're gonna be using, primarily on the E and the A, so that's the ones we're gonna go over. So obviously E string open is a big one. And E2 with your pointer finger. E4 with your middle finger. And E5 with your ring finger. Even if you just practice on those four notes going E open, E2, E4, E5, and then maybe go back down. E4, E2, E open. That's a great practice. All right, let's go to the A and do the same thing. So we have A open. A2 with your pointer. A4 with your middle. A5 with your ring. I'll go back down. A4, A2, A open. Now when I practice that, I'm saying the notes out loud as I'm playing them. Try to get that in my head, and I'm going down and up with my pick. Let's try that on the A again. We're going to go A open, A2, A4, A5, A4, A2, A open. That's such a good practice. Here's what that's doing. Again, that's drilling that tablature in your head to where you know what note is what. You're getting used to the frets. You're getting used to your fingers pushing on the correct places, you're getting used to what fingers that you're used to using, or supposed to be using, and you're also getting used to your pick going down and up. Now it's time to put the whole song together. Angelina Baker, this is gonna be part one. 
line one, two, three, and four, and repeat those lines. And part two, which is line five, six, seven, eight, and repeat those lines. All right. Obviously, you can go over this as many times as you need to to get it down. Here we go, all the way through the whole song. Ready, play. So hopefully you got that melody down. Uh, rewind it, go through it, slow it down, work on it, and make sure you get that down really good. Whenever you're ready, uh, not only can you just play along with the mandolin, but go back and play with that audio track so you're playing with a guitar and a bass and other instruments. <laughs> 